On today's So Thrive, we get super deep into some of the favorite topics that you, my So Thrive tribe, are passionate about. We've flown wellness TV and radio personality, Dr. Derek De Silva, all the way from New Jersey to South Lake, Texas, for an insightful conversation about better living. Dr. De Silva, an internal physician, is considered a pioneer in many areas of medicine and innovative technology. You might recognize him from his guest appearance on The Real Housewives of New Jersey, but I I know him better as the doctor's doctor for anti-aging and my wellness by nature. Dr. De Silva, it is so good to finally meet you. I feel like I know you. I watch, I binge all your videos. So you're in Texas. I was wondering if you're going to wear boots today. You know, I was, I was like, going to wear boots. I, and I, I promise the next time I have great. But boots. you have boots. Oh, are you kidding? I've got a collection of boots. Your next visit. Promise. I want to see the boots. Okay. So let's just rip the Band-Aid off. Okay. Talk about what's top of mind right now. 2020, it's been a remarkable year. Have you noticed major changes or have you had to do what we're hearing, the pivot, the shift in your own life? So 2020 for me has been very enlightening. It is, I've used the time and every single patient that comes in has a story. Every patient, Tiffany, it's incredible. And I try to take them from a negative into a positive. Let's not talk about the negatives. Let's talk about the positives. Mm -hmm. How have you grown? Mm -hmm. And I think turning that conversation around with people is important. We have to find joy in the simple things. I am an addict for joy. It's called oxytocin and endorphins. That's what it's called. That's what joy brings you. Going for a walk. Yeah. Spending time with your loved one, going to the beach, playing with your children, playing with your grandchildren, I'm telling you. Joy sparkers, I call them joy sparkers. Yes, and if nothing else, sit outside. I love grounding, Oh. earthing. Yes, take the shoes off. Take the oh, shoes yes. off. on that too for anyone that doesn't understand what grounding is I know I lived in California for a long time so anytime I was feeling stressed I knew to go straight to the water and walk and the negative ions and all of that so yes. can you explain what that yes. so does exactly? what happens is is that our body is under constant attack inflammation uh, the, the prescription medicines we're taking we have too many of these bad ions that collect in our body when your feet touch the ground, and this is real science, this is not voodoo, all right? This is for real. Look up Dr. Steven Sinatra. In fact, I just interviewed him on a program that I'm doing. You take your shoes off and you walk on Mother Earth. You are going to send all the bad ions out and all the good ions back in. Now, one of the best places to do this is at the beach. Why? Lightning hits the Earth 2,500 times a second. Lightning is constantly hitting the earth from all over the world. And that transformation of those ions into the ground, through the water, and into our bodies is extremely therapeutic. The best place to do it, and it's not to walk on the dry sand, it's to walk on the wet sand. The water line. The water is a conductor. Yeah. So it's a conductor that pulls the bad out and sends the good in. And people that have various maladies, they have joint discomforts, they're, they're, they have problems with, with their nervous system, they have problems with whatever. Go for a walk on the beach. Do you remember walking as a child on the beach? Oh, and even playing just, how good it feels? Right, and even being barefoot constantly as a child growing up in Houston, and then going through health issues, and I had a holistic doctor tell me that. He was like, you guys go down to the water line and walk. If you can do 30 minutes, awesome. But even just 10, 15 minutes, the electromagnetic. Yes. Right? Yes. It's, it's incredible. It is you, literally. So what I've been hearing that even just walking on concrete is better than Correct. that thing. Correct. True. Uh, because again, as long as there's a connection to the earth, 
that's what you want. I, we live in a town home with, mm -hmm. I don't, I have to drive to a park. Right. And I thought, I'm going to try it. And you know what? I felt it's better. Good. It's good. If there's a place that I go to in Sarasota and this beautiful, beautiful hotel, right across the street there is, there is a little park and they have seashells around the trees. So I go stand on the seashells and take my slippers off and I stand on the seashells and just kind of hang out there. People look at me like, why, why is this homeless guy walking around here? You know, <laughs> who's this Little homeless guy? Little do they guy? know it's Dr. Z. <laughs> who's this homeless guy? That is, it really goes back to self-love. When you're mindful of these things and you can get out in the world and actually implement them, take action. Right. And then real change. I think lasting change. That's right, it's those little teeny nuggets and I think the website is a great way to start and get people on that right path yeah. of, of, of real wellness. But again, take the step. Exactly, you're online shopping on the phone. Why don't you actually go and make a mindful choice? I wish more doctors had your mindset. And of course you integrated the best of the East and the West. Starting these little things can truly change your whole life. We hear the words, the longest journey starts with a single step. So do the simple steps.